hey guys welcome back to the channel in this video i'm going to show you how you can create a really cool looking opener animation inside of davinci resolve If you don't want to create this entire animation from scratch, then you can consider downloading this as a template. Now this template is pretty neatly organized. You can download this template and you will see your image placeholder comps and text placeholder comps. And all you have to do is just open these placeholders. So for example, if you want to change the image of the first slide over here, you just open the image placeholder one, right click on it and click on open in timeline. And here you just have to drag and drop a different image. So I can just search for a different image, drag that in, replace it with the previous clip. And if you see any black borders, then you just have to zoom in to crop that. But in this case, we don't have any black borders. I'm going to set this to the default value and go back to the timeline one and you can see your image will be updated over here. And same goes for the text. You go to text placeholder. We have text one over here, right click open in timeline and you can just select your text and type in anything that you want. And once you do that, then in the timeline one, you can see that our changes will be reflected immediately inside this comp or inside this timeline. Cool. So you have to do this for all of these image placeholder layers and the text placeholder layers. And finally, we have our logo placeholder at the end. Uh, once you open that up, you can see our logo over here. Now let's just replace it with a different logo. I'm going to use this come road logo over here. And as soon as I drag and drop it, you can see the size of it changes. And now if you go to your timeline one and at the end, you can see that our logo is also resized. Uh, so you have to go back to your logo placeholder and just zoom that down to a different amount. So let's set this to 0.25. And now if you go back to your timeline one, you can see the changes uh, update immediately. And then also you do the same thing with your text placeholder. If you want to change the position you can go to your text plus and in the layout over here you can change the y position and move the text around that's how you can edit this template now let me show you how you can create this animation from scratch so what you're going to do is drag in a fusion composition like so and let's go to the fusion page so we'll create our animation right over here so the first thing that we'll need is a background node let's drag that in Let's take a look at it. This is our background node. And on this background node, I'm also going to add in a fast noise. So type in FN for fast noise. Click on add. And if you take a look at this merge one, you can see our fast noise in front. Uh, if it's not in front, then you have to right click on the merge one, then click on swap inputs to make sure that you see the fast noise. After the merge one, we are going to add in a mosaic blur. Let's view this. And you can see we have some texture in our fast noise. So I'm going to go to Mosaic Blur and uh, set the pixel frequency to 8. Uh, you can, of course, uh, play with play with different settings. You can change the cell type as well, uh, which will give you really cool looking results. Uh, I'm going to set the aliasing to 0. Now the next step is to drag in your image. So I have some image over here in my master bin. So let's just drag this image over here and we can rename this to image let's take a look at it now the resolution of this image is 1920 by 1080 which is exactly what we want but if it is not if it's a higher resolution or a lower resolution then you can quickly add in a background node and if you take a look at this merge tool it should be 1920 by 1080 and to see the image all you have to do is right click on it and click on swap inputs Right, so let's just leave that over there. After this merge, we are going to add in a text. Let's drag and drop it, text plus, and you can type in anything that you want. And I'm gonna change the font to something else. So let's just use uh, Bbass. And I'm gonna connect these two up like so. Take a look at merge three. There we have it, our text and our image. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in a prism blur effect after the merge tree take a look at prism blur this is what it does so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to increase the aberration strength set that to the maximum value and that is all we have to do in prism blur for now we have to animate the prism blur strength but we will do it at the end all right cool so you can see what it does the prism blur if you turn it off this is before and this is after we get these rgb lines and uh, this is what we want so we're going to copy this 
and paste it down below like so and this will be our animated uh, mosaic texture so let's take a look at this mosaic blur we can see that there is no animation on it it's a uh, static but we can go to our fast noise and increase the see thread so we have some kind of animation all right cool i'm also going to go to fast noise over here and we can change some settings we can increase the contrast let's take a look at this mosaic blur first so we can increase the contrast you can see what that does we get some different opacity levels in our texture uh, which is exactly what we want you can increase the detail as well and you do the same thing with this fast noise as well so let's just increase the detail and increase the contrast so we get these different level of opacities uh, which is exactly what we want so we have this animation over here as well and if the animation looks too fast you can reduce the amount of c thread you can control it right over here cool now what you can do is add in another background node let's take a look at it and on this background three we are going to add in a grid click on that and let's take a look at it this is our grid effect i'm going to go to my background again and reduce the alpha turn that to zero and on the grid we can reduce the major line spacing set that to zero as well and now you can just simply zoom into this a little bit like so and you can just you know play around and fine tune the settings now let's connect these up together this will result in merge 4 take a look at it so we have our texture uh, the animated texture and the grid as well now we will also need to connect uh, the prism blur with the uh, mosaic blur over here so let's just do that for that we will need to disconnect this and connect these two up together this will result in merge 5 let's take a look at this merge 5 and you can see our text and the image this thing is on top uh, we want our fast noise to be on top so i'm going to right click on this merge 5 and click on swap inputs so we can see our texture which is on top and now we can change the apply mode and i'm going to use a different apply mode set this to overlay you can of course play with different overlays and see which one works best for you i think soft light also looks kind of nice but i'm going to use overlay for now and reduce the blend amount i think that it is a little bit too intense so i'm going to use something like 0.2 and if you play the animation you can see we have the animation going on as well now we can connect the merge 5 with merge 4 and take a look at this merge 4 we have the grid now i'm going to click on this merge 4 and change the blend amount so let's just reduce that to a smaller value and after this merge 4 we are going to end up with uh, adding a displace node which is the real meat of this tutorial so let's just uh, connect this mosaic blur which is at the top over here connect it up with this displace node and let's take a look at this displace node as well i'm going to connect it up with media out take a look at this displace node we can see something happening in our scene uh, we get this distorted look you can change that over here use you can animate the refraction strength and all that stuff now what i did for my animation was i used the type xy and then i animated the x refraction so i'm going to go to frame 50 create a keyframe on x refraction go back to the very first frame and increase the x refraction move the move it to the right so if you play the animation look something like that i'm going to go to spline and select these two keyframes hit s to smooth that out hit t key on the keyboard and just ease it into 100 so that we have a more smoother looking animation like that and now we will also animate the prism blur so let's select our prism blur node over here and i'm going to create keyframe on the same position as we did for displace so i'm going to go to frame 50 create a keyframe on aberration strength and here we set the aberration strength to zero and at the very first frame we'll set the aberration strength to 100 all right so now if you take a look at it she looks something like that so yeah, i think that is pretty much it that's how you can create this animation inside of the fusion page i hope this video was helpful i hope you learned something new if it did then please make sure you leave a like and also subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one